guys i'm kind of kind of excited but hi guys welcome back to my channel so as you've already read by the title i'll be doing a story time today my first ever story time on this channel so this story time i've been wanting to do this for the longest time honestly so yes as you read by the title i don't even know what i'm going to call it yet but as you read by the title this is a story time about how they wouldn't allow me to board the flight home to jamaica yes so let's just get into it so this happened last year um february 2022 to be exact um i wanted to go home for valentine's day so i was mad excited as i literally always am every time it comes time to go back home to jamaica um and if you know you know like no more needs to be said um so yeah hella excited and everything like that on that day that it, i was leaving um it was actually due to rain in england but i was just like not my problem because i'm about to be gone so i didn't really care about the weather all my mind was set was on jamaica on jamaica on jamaica and like when i'm leaving to go to jamaica like i've mentally already left the country <laughs> like the final step is just me getting there but when i once i know i'm leaving to go to jamaica i've already left like i've done departed the country already so yeah because mentally i was gone <laughs> i was already out of here um, so anyways, I was going there. I think maybe I'll insert clips of this experience that I was taking throughout while I tell this story, who knows. But um, yeah, so I was mad excited to go there. I was in the line to go, you know, put my, you know, when you reach the, you give your suitcase to your passport and everything like that. So I was in the line, bearing in mind there was loads of people in this line, loads of people in this line still going to Jamaica. Usually, let me just say this, when I go to the airport, I am early crack of dawn early like surely i'm out of there like i don't mind sitting waiting in the airport as long as i'm in the airport i don't really mind but this time i was not as early i wasn't late definitely wasn't late but i was just not as early as i would usually be so i would say that there was like maybe an hour till um what did they call it till closing or the gate or till boarding or when they leave i don't know i had like an hour so i had time you know so anyways i'm in the line woman calls me up um we're gonna call this woman Let's call her Amy. We're gonna call her Amy. So Amy, you know when they come over. So I went over to Amy, mad excited, had my passport in my hand, gave her my passport. She already checked the ticket and everything like that. And um, before I lift up my suitcase to, you know, cause you put your suitcase on to wait, before I could even get to that stage, she asked for my negative COVID results. So I had already taken the Fuck, what's it called? The PCR test? Hold on. How can I remember all the terminology? Yeah. So I had already taken the PCR test, I think maybe 48 hours or 24 hours before the flight. So I was good. It was negative. Everything was fine. So then she asked for the negative PCR results. So, <laughs> y'all, let me even show you. So she asked for the negative PCR results and I handed her this. I've literally never taken it out. I said, I'm not throwing it away until I make a story time on it. So she asked for the negative PCR results and I gave her this. <laughs> no, y'all, when it happened, like, y'all gonna hear how much times I, I was crying and stuff. And I said, one day I'll laugh about this. I've been laughing about it ever since, but in the moment, shit was not funny, okay? So she asked for my negative PCR results, and I gave her this. As you can see, it's negative. These are my results. Here is the negative results. So she was just like, and what's this? <laughs> I was just like, it's the negative results. <laughs> she was like, no, you were meant to, you were meant to, bearing in mind, with everything I read, I never saw nothing about you had to go nowhere. All it said was have your negative results. So she said I was meant to go somewhere and have someone do, you know, the swab, the nose swab. Um, and they would give you a printout form of your negative results. And that's what you're meant to bring to the airport. Obviously, it makes sense because in all honesty, anyone could have done this. This could have been from anyone. It doesn't. There's no proof that I took it, you know, so I understand that. But it wasn't explained to me when I, I, I wasn't, you know, that i was unaware so i said but it's negative she said yeah but that's not the form so you won't be boarding the flight today y'all you you know in movies when just like everything's moving around them and they're just there or it's just like a zoom and everything 
like it felt like an outer body experience because there's no way she just told me that i'm not boarding the flight like it didn't even it felt surreal like it was not real life it was not real life <laughs> it was i i didn't register so i i couldn't comprehend what he, you had just told me about me not boarding the flight like i told you i had already left the country mentally so <laughs> You can't tell me my, my, I mentally left, but my body is still here. It wasn't adding up. It wasn't adding up. Okay. So she was just like, yeah, you won't be boarding the flight today. So she said, you need to go back to your local area. Go back. I've already left. So what do you mean? Go back. I, I don't get it. Go back to your local area. And then she looked up my local area and she had found one um, pharmacy that was doing it or, or a place that they were just doing tests specifically for that. Y'all bear in mind, I even asked this lady if there was a local pharmacy, some nearby town. Like I did not want to go all the way home. I do not live close to this airport. So like, you know, when you go in airport, you're traveling to the airport. I don't know what's in this area. So I did not want to go all the way back home just to do this. So she found it for me and she said, yeah, this is the one you need, you should go and, and do and get it for. And I was just like, and get it for when? So I was just like, when's the next flight? Um, she said the next flight, I think on this day, I think it was Monday. I think it was on Monday. Yeah. And she was just like, the next flight is on Wednesday. So you just have to pay the difference. We're going to come back to this. She said, I'll just have to pay the difference. So that would just be the difference from the Monday to the Wednesday flight. Cause remember everything's all, already good. Everything's already cleared. She's just now re she's just changing my flight from Monday to Wednesday. So I guess you, you might have to pay like a difference fee for that all right so i was pissed off i was just like is there nothing else that can be done like i don't understand like bearing in mind there's still loads of people behind me lining up to go jamaica you know bear that in mind so it's just like what do you mean i'm not going to jamaica today I, like i couldn't get like i couldn't understand it i this never happened to me ever 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 so i was just i was just i couldn't get it like anyways so she said that's it gave me a number i need to call to rebook and that was that i took my ass i took my suitcase found a little corner in the airport and i cried when i say i cried i was bawling like i couldn't believe it like the the happiness i get from leaving this country <laughs> no just the happiness i get to go home and you're telling me that that's not happening i couldn't f i couldn't grasp the information i was just so emotional i just sat down and i cried and i cried and i cried and i cried and then i i eventually picked myself up i think i've even inserted clips of me going back on the train and um i was just annoyed to be honest i was just so sad so annoyed and then y'all that's when the rain decided to piss down on my way back home so it's just like even though they said it was gonna rain today it didn't actually rain on my way to the airport but you see when i left gatwick to go home pissing down with rain. it's just like my emotions was reflected in the weather and it was just not a good mood like it just set the scene and i was just even more upset i think throughout that day i was like trying to make jokes like <laughs> just to cheer myself up <laughs> I wish I had a time machine. I wish I had a time machine. I wish I had a time machine. Girl, just believe I'm crying when I'm not on here. I just, I, I, I feel empty. Like, just, I keep thinking where, how far I would be. Three hours already, I would have been seven more to go. I'm losing two days. <laughs> but I was so upset. Like, I was so, so, so upset. And the family members that I came out there to surprise, they didn't even know that I was coming because it was a surprise. So it's like, my plan couldn't go to plan. I couldn't even give them a heads up or up. Like, they didn't even know I was coming. So me not even showing up, it was just like, girl, are you even leaving the country at this point? It's just like, you know? So I was just so, so upset. And then when I came home, I kept checking like the flight update and like just seeing it. Cause you know, you can check flights like when they're flying and stuff. So 
I was just seeing it just like every hour. I'm just like, it's one hour closer, one hour closer. And then you see when it touched down, I was just, I was just like, I was, so I could have, I could have literally just touched that. I could have just touched down in normal manly just now. I would, like, I, complete out of body experience. Cause when it felt so real, like I was meant to actually be on that flight. I was meant to be in Jamaica right now. And here I am in my living room in this country, UK still. Like I, guys. So anyways, I booked the PCR test, made sure I book it for the next day, but I was also calling up to book this, pay this difference fee so I could be on the Wednesday flight. No one's picking up, no one's picking up, no one, I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm, ca I'm literally calling every hour, calling, 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 no one is picking up this phone from this number, I'm trying other numbers, nothing is working, no one's getting, I don't know what was up with their line, no one was picking up, nobody. So that was already annoyed. I mean, I was already annoyed at that and I was just emotional and I was just like, you know what? Tomorrow's a new fucking day. And then when tomorrow comes, you can say you're going to Jamaica tomorrow. So that's what I was focused on. So I did my PCR test and funny fact, the guy who did my PCR test, he was Jamaican. So it, it was just a little, little connection, you know, because I was able to just talk about it with someone to just share it and say, look, and it was like, he was going, don't worry, man, we're going to get you to Norman, man. We're going to sort it out. Da -da -da -da. It was just like, so nice so i was just like okay that's one thing done i got my results da -da -da, got my paper everything like that so y'all i then had to book another train ticket to go up to gatwick and speak to someone because like i said no one was picking up this phone so i w i booked another train ticket and went up there but tell me why i took my suitcase with me my big ass suitcase tell me why i took it up again on day two I'll tell you why. Because I don't have a scale. I mean, I have a scale, but I don't trust it. So I don't really weigh it for a suitcase and stuff. And I wanted an accurate scale, an uh, accurate measure. Because like I said, I didn't even get to weigh my suitcase day one. Because I didn't even get to that point. I didn't even get, I didn't even get to, I didn't even get to that point to put up the thing. And they say, oh, you're this over, you're that over, you're okay. I didn't even get there. So I said, I'm bringing up the suitcase. I'm going to weigh it on one of their weighing things, the scales, and then I'll know if I'm over or not. And I think I, I was just a little bit over or whatever. But y'all, tell me why when I told someone this, they were just like, Davida, why don't you just take it to a pharmacy or like even your local gym? <laughs> I don't know. Why. Like it never crossed my mind not once to take it locally because i maybe i didn't know i didn't realize i mean now thinking back to it i have seen scales in gyms and stuff but like i didn't think it just didn't come across my mind all i said is i have to take it back to the airport to wait i have to so i'm dragging this i'm dragging the weight of the world on my shoulders i'm dragging everything emotionally i'm dragging the thoughts of no one's picking up the phone i'm dragging this heavy weight i'm just dragging fam so anyways i go all the way back up to get weight weigh the thing realize it's a bit over i said okay so i clearly need to take some things out because one thing about me y'all i've been to airport and had stuff over who's throwing away what who's leaving what behind no 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 last time i kid you not i started putting on clothes i started layering on clothes if you saw the way i was walking through that Because no, I didn't just buy all this stuff for my family for you to tell me I'm leaving stuff here. <laughs> That's yeah, I'm putting on layers. If you saw how much layers of clothes I put on that time. Oh, I got the weight down all right. And then when I walked through the thing, I just took it off and put it in the bag. But anyways, that's that's just another, that was another time. But yeah, so anyways, I said, okay, I need to speak to someone now, clearly, because no one's picking up this phone. So I went in the line there's like a fast track line and the everybody in line i obviously went in the fast track because i need this to be seen fast attended to fast so i went in the fast track line and then obviously the woman said come over and then i came over spoke to her explained everything to her said no one's picking up this phone no one is picking up this phone what can i do who can i talk to no one's picking up sorry ma'am there's nothing we can do come again sorry i didn't quite get that sorry let me maybe i didn't sorry ma'am there's nothing we can do you just have to keep trying to call you have to keep picking up the what are you huh so that's it that's all they said sorry there's nothing we can do about it there's nothing we can do about it. i couldn't i so, so, so i'm literally here right now ain't no 
is there no 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 other number no other you are literally the department of the people i'm trying who can you put me through to now put me through to someone now so remember there's nothing we can do nothing we can do and y'all you see why people in life you know it's the people who make up the disturbance them and go on them they're actually the ones that get through in life they're actually the ones who get their shit sorted because unless you're breaking shit it's like no one is gonna take you serious like i couldn't like what do you mean there's nothing we can you're the only ones who could do something so get something done i was just like sorry mom there's nothing we can do next like what are you doing so guys on my way um after she done with me i saw amy Oh baby, baby, have you seen Amy tonight? Yeah, I saw Amy. Amy was in her same position. I saw Amy. So she was dealing with some, like, a family. And so she took their passports and went round the back. So I said, oh, this is where I go and catch her. When she comes back out, me and you. So I stood at the front of the everybody in the, in it line. And y'all, I'm a, like, when I say I'm a law-abiding citizen, like, I don't do cut cues and stand in front of this piece at the person did i don't do none of that like i stand where i am if it's a long way it's a long way and that's just that you see that day i couldn't give a fuck who was behind me how many thousands of people i don't care who was behind me i was not moving i was standing right here y'all are all probably getting on the flight today yeah so y'all are good me i'm standing right here and i'm going straight to amy's ass i'm not listening to what anyone I, I, didn't, I didn't i personally didn't hear anyone say anything but even if people was talking like you know and actually people are gonna have thoughts because if you see someone standing in front of the line you're thinking oh where is she who me that day nobody could get me to move nobody could touch a button nobody could move me i'm staying right here i'm going straight to amy i can't believe i'm calling this woman amy i know her name but let me just know yeah so anyway she took their passports and she said oh so she's coming back so i went down to meet her i i approached her and she's coming back and i was just like hi um i'm the girl who came through and brought the negative results yesterday i don't know if you remember this is her oh who could forget that Oh, so you want to be cheeky about it. Okay, okay, okay. So you've got jokes. You're, you're, you're good. Okay. She's like, oh, but who could forget that? <laughs> you want to talk about mama. <laughs> you want to talk about mama. Oh, oh, you want to talk about anyways now i approach this woman let me tell you why i approach this woman i approached her because when i'm calling up and researching and looking into how come i missed this part of information about going to get it done in person tell me why i see gatwick not only does gat do the pcr test in the airport they do it in the terminal which i was they do it in the area of which i was it's not like I would have even had to go all the way around the airport to find it. It was in the same fucking terminal. So I'm just thinking, okay, why couldn't she tell me that I could have just done the test on site? Like we had time, maybe we had like half an hour till plane departed. Why can't she tell me? So I approached her dead in her face and I said, um, after she was, I said, oh yeah, who could forget? I said, so how come you didn't tell me that I could have done it here yesterday um, at the airport? You didn't tell me I could have done the test here at the airport yesterday. This is her. Oh, I just decided not to tell you because the plane was going to leave. She not talking to me like... Sorry, maybe I'm not speaking English. This is what the girl said to me. Oh, I just decided not to tell you because the plane was going to leave anyways. Bitch, the plane was going to leave anyway. Regardless, the plane was going to leave that day anyways. The plane was already going to leave regardless. What do you mean you chose not to tell me? You chose to withhold that information that you knew was just around the fucking corner and you told chose not to tell me because the plane was going to leave. Oh, the plane was going to leave soon anyways. Y'all, and get this, the results, I think the results um, that I do in person, the one I did in person that day, I think maybe I got the results back in an hour or two hours. It was half, the airport one is quicker. The, the airport one is like half the time. The airport one is like half an hour. I could have got my, I could have literally, she said, oh, 
Oh, here is what. Since your plane's leaving soon, just have a go. Even if she said have a go, and even if I had a go and still missed the flight, at least I would have had a go. At least I would have had a chance. You tell me you chose not to tell me because the plane was going to leave? Yo, remember people for Jamaica were still behind me. I've been on flights. If that is what, I've been on flights and we just had to wait for passengers. You know, you've heard it. You've heard it on the tannoy where, you know, um, they make an announcement for this passenger. The, the, the pilots waiting, the passengers are waiting. I'm not saying they're going to be there all three, four hours wait, but they're going to wait. I've been on flights. That is why it's called a delayed flight. It is called a delayed flight because it was delayed. That day it would have just been, it would just happened to be me that delayed the flight. But it would have still kept it putting, we, we would have all, do you know what I mean? So it's just like, when she said, oh, I chose not to tell you, I'm just thinking, who the fuck? Yo, I was so angry. I'm not a physical person. I don't do fights. I've never had a fight with anyone in my life. Actually, that's a lie. But <laughs> I don't do fights. I'm not, a, I'm not a violent person. You see, when she said that to me about, I chose not to tell you. Yo, if I was in animation, I would have gone red. I'm black and I would have gone red. The smokes would have been... <laughs> I wanted to drag her. Body slam that bit. I wanted to... What? <laughs> Yo, I was so... Yo, I was so annoyed. I literally wanted to harm this individual. I wanted to hurt her. Because who the fuck do you think you are not telling me about that? Like what? Then now, as if my feelings, my rage and all that isn't already sky high. Wait, let me catch my breath. Go ahead. Tell me why when I tell her that no one's picking up the phone for the from the, from the number she gave me so i can pay the difference like you told me she was just like what do you mean pay the difference i said the difference that's what you said pay the difference from for the monday to the wednesday flight no you have to buy a whole new ticket <laughs> you can't make this shit up i tell you <laughs> you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up. The girl told me I had to pay for a whole nother ticket. A whole new ticket needs to be purchased. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like, what, what, what is she actually telling me? Look, someone come and actually translate to me what she's saying. Because she's clearly not speaking English because I don't understand. What do you mean? What, 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 do you, what do you mean? So then anyways now, she done left because her, you know, she had customers dealing with or whatever. So I was just like... So firstly, she has me running around the world doing all these things, yeah? She knew that they do PCR tests on site in that same terminal and chose to not tell me. Now she's telling me I, I need to buy a whole new ticket. She's like, oh, I never said pay the difference. Then who said pay the difference? Because I never came out and told you to pay the difference. You're the one who said I need to pay the difference for the Wednesday flight. Y'all, at this point, I was just like, like, I couldn't even, like, I've already, first of all, remember, I've already lost the day. I should have been catching sun, vitamin D for a whole day now. And now you're telling me that I have to repay a whole team. Like, are you even, are you even? <laughs> Anyways, guys, long story short, bawling was bald. Tears were shed. Emotions were through the roof. Okay. But long story short, the ticket was paid. Repaid. Like, no, because that's actually ridiculous. Like, you, you, she's just moving like people have money to be out here dishing, wasting, buying up new tickets like we're all fucking millionaires. Like, you know? So that was fucking, that was just annoying piece of information that I could have done without. But this bitch. Anyways, I came home, emptied out my suitcase, like lightened up my suitcase. And I said, you know what? Tomorrow is a whole new day. Tomorrow is departure day departure day is tomorrow it just keep thinking just tomorrow 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 the whole new day so it was wednesday now i believe yeah it was wednesday and um yo i literally wanted to forget that the past two days happened like i just wanted to wake up and i just wanted to 
it basically I, it went from Sunday to Wednesday in my mind. Sunday when I was mad excited. Jamaica, here I come. Jamaica, Jamaica. To Wednesday, here I am. I just wanted to forget these past two days even happened, and it's it's exactly what I did. So much so that I put on the same clothes that I put I planned to wear Monday to Jamaica. I put that back on Wednesday because I said this is the day. This is the Jamaica leaving day. These past two days never happened. And this is the day where I was just meant to leave. I clearly was not meant to be on that flight. I clearly was not meant to touch down those days. It didn't happen. It doesn't exist. Today is the day. Today is the day. Y'all, yeah. nothing was stopping me from, from, from going to Jamaica today. Nothing. No one. Nobody. Not nobody. If it's barrel, I go and have to jump in up. <laughs> If it's suitcase, I go and have to hide it. No one is stopping me. I'm touching down tonight. I'm touching down tonight. The only major difference, apart from having to obviously get a whole new ticket, I was no longer going to Kingston, Norma Manny, which is actually the only Jamaican airport I've ever touched down in, ever landed in. I was going to Montego Bay. I was going to land in Mobe for the first, first time ever. So that was new, I guess. But that just meant longer journey going to touching that and then going from Mobe all the way to Kingston. But by the hook or the crook, I'm touching down in Jamaica. So I don't care if it's, it's Mobe I'm landing in. As long as I'm landing in Jamaica, I'm landing in Jamaica and that's final. So obviously I went there. Everything was smooth, smooth, smoother than butter, smoother than ice cream, smooth, lotion skin, smooth. Everything was smooth as it should have been if it wasn't just for this bloody thing. You see Corona and their the whole new rules and procedures and changing it this minute and changing it that minute. And j -j 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 Y'all are doing too much. They just, it was just all a money making thing. Money making. Like, but anyways. So guys, yes, everything went smooth. I touched down, landed in Mobe for the first time. The surprise was all successful and thing. But that was just such a crazy ass experience that has never happened to me in my life. And I wouldn't wish it on anybody. And then I actually got contacted by someone else who was going to Jamaica. I think maybe a month or two after that, I got contacted by um someone I knew who was going to Jamaica and they just wanted to know like any ins and outs. Y'all, I said, I, tell, I told them, if you do nothing at all, make sure you do your PCR test the right way, yeah? Because you don't want to experience what I just did experience a few months ago. So, yeah, guys. But yeah, then I landed and... I got to enjoy a beautiful, beautiful whole month. Got to enjoy my holiday. I appreciate my homeland. Like, I lost two whole days. Like, nothing's gonna kill my vibe right now. Like, I'm here. So, yeah, guys, that is my story time on how I wasn't allowed to board the flight. But, guys, if you thought that story was crazy, just wait until you hear part two because they didn't want me to come back to England. Yep yeah that's a whole that's a whole nother story that part two they refused to let me back on the british flight that part two i was not allowed to leave jamaica but we're gonna get into that in another time if you guys want to hear that story the continuation of this story like this video comment if you want to hear about that story time share this video if you're feeling generous and don't forget to subscribe y'all i appreciate you i really do hope that um this never has to happen again like for anyone like it will never ever 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 never ever 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 that's from um monsters versus aliens it never ever 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 occurred to me this will never happen to me again ever so yeah guys but this is just the start of all my story times. I've got so many story times. So, so, so like all the different ones are just popping in my head, popping in my head. Like I cannot wait to share it. And like I said about those deep, deep topics, I feel like my story times will just be what I need to get to that place one day where I can, you know, talk about those stuff. But right now we're just doing up. We're just doing our story times. We're just going to keep doing our story times. So yeah, I, I enjoyed st telling them. So yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed it too. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe so you can join our little family over here. YouTube's best kept secret. I said, we're YouTube's best kept secret, okay? Okay. All right, cool. 
see you guys i'll see you in my next one don't forget to like this video for part two you don't want to miss that okay bye <laughs>